There we go. First fish of the day. Let's see. Let's see if we can if we can land this fish here. Hit it on drop. What's up, everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to fish with artificial shrimp. An in-depth video on how to fish the shrimp lures. Um, I know I did a video on how to effectively fish artificial shrimp. Uh, if you guys have not seen that video, link's going to be on the top right hand corner. Go check it out. But today, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be an in-depth video on how to fish artificial shrimp, uh, how to rig it up where to fish the artificial shrimp and just how to be successful out here with it in general. So I stopped by St. Pete Fishing Outfitters this morning and picked up a pack of the salty net shrimp. I also got the jigs to go with it, uh, the jig heads. These are the Z-Man Bullet in the 1 6th ounce. Um, typically I go with the 1 10th but all they had left was the one six. So this rig here is one tenth, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller than these jig heads here. But we're gonna go ahead and rig this up because it can be confusing with it being shaped like that uh, with the weight on the bottom. It's like, where do you even start? Really, really simple to, uh, to rig up. So it looks like this is the, the new penny color. Looks really good, especially for this time of year. Smaller profile bait. I mean, it just looks really good. Here's, here are the jig heads. Just leave that there for now. Right, I'm gonna grab one of these out of the pack. What you wanna do is line the jig head and the, uh, the bait up like that, and then just go in from the center like that, and then go down, out like that. Very simple. Now, what you wanna do is push that all the way through like so, push it up against the um, jig head, like that, and then kind of get an idea of where that hook's going to be exposed. So like right there, where the tip of my pointing finger is, go in from the bottom, and out, just like that, nice and straight. And that is how you rig up a salty net shrimp. Let's take this guy out on the water and see if we can't catch fish with it. So when it comes to fishing uh, with artificial shrimp, I do like to fish it uh, by using a loop knot. So it gives it more action. So there's a couple of ways on how to fish this artificial shrimp. You can straight reel it like a paddle tail, just slowly reel it or drag it on the bottom that way. Or you can uh, twitch it like a jerk bait. Let me show you what I mean. So like this, cast it out, reel in the slack, twitch the raw tip. And typically you want to mix up the twitches, twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch. Just got to see what, uh, what works best, but I don't think these fish are uh, in the shallows today. It might be in the deeper part of the water, which we will get to. I like to just, you know, try to cover as much ground as I can. And these are perfect search baits. These little tiny net shrimp. Any, any artificial lures, really. There's a bite right there. Felt like a ladyfish bite or something. Definitely a bite though. That was definitely a bite. So I'm gonna cast it back out to where I got the bite and work it back in again. Give it one more, one more shot, one more chance. Lots of mullet out here jumping, which is a good thing. These predator fish, they do like to hang around schools of bait fish like mullet or uh, greenbacks. Yeah, like I said, my favorite way would have to be just, you know, twitching it. Another way is, uh, which I don't really have success with, is straight reeling it. I know that works really good if you're fishing um, the bridges or like docks and stuff like that. It's like a shrimp just, you know, swimming by. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it came off. No way. You know, when you work these uh, these shrimp lowers, typically, with pompano jigs too, typically they hit it on the drop. While that shrimp is like fluttering down, they'll just crush it. It just looks like a dying shrimp. The key is to make the shrimp look like it's injured. I have to cast to my right a little bit here. It might be schooling up out in the center because I've cast it a few times here to the left next to the mangroves. 
So here's another tip. If you're not getting any bites, let's say you're not getting any bites here on the, on the left along the mangroves, then just, you know, cast elsewhere. That's how you cover ground. There we go. First fish of the day. Let's see, let's see if we can if we can land this fish here. Hit it on the drop. On the drop. I think it might be a little snook. Oh yeah, a little snook. Nice. <laughs> a lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. I mean he's not all that big, but to get them. On, to get them up on an artificial lure, that's a lot of fun. Oh, come on, guy. Look at that. He smoked it. Pretty cool. Nice little guy. Healthy, man. Good deal. Let's try to get ones uh, a little bit bigger than him, but um, I'll take another one that size. <laughs> I mean, I'll catch him back to back that size. Pretty cool. See you, guy. Right, first fish landed. Leader still decent. Usually they chafe up the leader, but you know what? There's a little chafe right there on the uh, the lube knot, so I'm gonna have to cut and retie just to be safe. But yeah, very effective uh, shrimp right there. Let me show you guys. Since I'm already doing this, let me show you guys how I like to tie my loop knot. Um, typically, I just I just stick with this particular one. Uh, don't know what the name's called really make a overhand knot right there just like that overhand knot and slide the tag end through the eye of that hook or the jig head and then slide that tag end up the overhand knot you just made slide it all the way up and then now you want to wrap that tag end uh, or you want to wrap the main line with a tag end about three times should be plenty go back down the same way it came in just like that pull the tag in tight and now pull on the leader tighten it just like that Ooh, that was a good bite. I felt like a snook thump, man. Let's cast it back out. Hopefully we get hooked up this time right here. I felt like a snook thump right there. Oh, another one. No way, I just got hit right here, dude. You kidding me? That was a good hit, too. Super shallow right here. Man, I wonder what that was. It started peeling drag a little bit. Alright. Look at that, the lure came undone. That was a good bite. Let's put the hook back right there. Looking good. Probably gonna tuck it in, make it weedless. There you go. Now it's weedless. There's a fish. Snook. I switched the, uh, the lure to a lighter, lighter uh, setup, lighter jig head. Because I lost the other jig to probably a Spanish mackerel or something, but it cut me off. But I'm throwing like a one, uh, I want to say 115, super light. Typically I throw a one tenth on the bullet jig, but uh, one, fifth, one fifth works. I mean, one fifteenth works. Look at that. Look at that little snook, man. Nice, healthy, healthy little snook. 
hit the new penny. I switched to the uh, the new penny color because that's all I have left. Usually I throw the uh, the root beer gold, but love that new penny. It's crazy how these fish, man, they get up to be like 40 inches. Pretty cool. Good fish, healthy fish too. Look at that black lateral line. That's what they use to feel vibration through the water if you guys didn't know that. I didn't know that when I first started fishing, but uh, all the fish have the, the lateral line, but some fish like snook, theirs, theirs is just more defined. Pretty cool. See you guy. Thanks for the catch. Let's see if you can whack more. Yep, a little chafed up right there. We're gonna, oh, all the way up here. We're gonna have to cut that and retie. There's another fish. A smaller fish, I don't know what it is though. Jeez, that's not, that's, that's gotta be the smallest fish today. Caught today. Look at this little snook. Oh, just came off. That guy hit it on the drop. Tiny little snook. Let's see if we can get a bigger, bigger snook here. I get bit right here. There it is. Feels like it's a little bit bigger. Might be a redfish if it's not jumping. What is it? Oh, a sheep! Oh my gosh, dude, look at that! I was just talking about that. <laughs> Sheeper, that is a keeper. Come on, guy, don't, don't thrash, please. Just like that, man. Keeper, sheeper, right there. 12 inches all day, for sure. But we're not keeping them today. Man, I've been crushing the sheep's head recently. If you guys have not seen that video, uh, sheep's head catch and cook, link's gonna be on the top right hand corner, go check it out. But it is that time of year for sheep's head fishing, so see ya. All right, two snook, one sheep on the new penny. New penny uh, net shrimp. I mean, that's my third, I want to say fourth, fourth or, or fifth sheep's head on this uh, net shrimp. The only artificial shrimp that actually catches the, uh, the sheep. I'm sure you guys get the idea on how to work an artificial shrimp. Um, I think this video would be helpful for the guys that are just starting out fishing with uh, artificial lures or if they're just starting out fishing with artificial shrimp. It would definitely help them. I wish I, you know, I wish a lot more people would make videos like this. Oh, there's a fish. When I first started uh, fishing, cause um, I didn't know how to work the artificial lure, or artificial shrimp when I first started uh, saltwater fishing little guy here let's get him oh there he goes yeah when i first started saltwater fishing uh, when i first started fishing with artificial lures my friend turned me turned me on the artificial shrimp it was a doa shrimp i didn't know how to work it i mean i wasn't catching fish with it and i was telling him hey you know this this stuff does not work let me just stick to let me just stick to my um Live bait. <laughs> Little did I know, artificial lures can be a killer sometimes. Oh wow, look at this man. This is like the baby snook. Snook nursery. Another little snook here. We're gonna, we're gonna have to um, go to a different spot and cast. Cause I'm tired of catching these little baby snook. It's good to see him though. It's good to see him, that's for sure. All right, so. Typically you want to fish the uh, artificial shrimp in, I want to say four, three to four feet of water. I like to fish them in like a couple foot of water, uh, just pitching them along the mangroves. These uh, artificial shrimp are very versatile. You can fish it off seawall, uh, 
the flats, like what I'm doing right now, just pitching into a deeper part of the water and just bouncing it on the bottom, giving it a couple of twitches, mix up the twitches. You know, ooh, that was a good hit. You hit it when I was reeling it in. Could have been a jack. Usually jackfish do that. They like the the faster action. Like I said, they're they're very versatile. You can fish them in you know deeper water too, using heavier heavier jig head um, and bigger profile. That's gonna be a wrap. I went down there and fished for probably 20 minutes. Saw one snook and a whole bunch of glass minnows. Not a single bite, so we're gonna call it a day. Hope you learned a thing or two from this video. Let me know in the comments below how you guys like to work the artificial shrimp so we can all learn a thing or two from one another. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.